All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob, and this is my nephew, Aiden. Today, we're going to be building uh, his first PC. You haven't built any PC, right? No. No, at all, right? No. So um, we're going to get to it, and we're actually building on the 220T again, which I did a couple weeks ago. So we're pretty familiar with this um, PC case. So we're going to get to it, and we'll see if he breaks something today. All right, let's do it. All right, once again, here we go. This is the Corsair RGB 220T. We just built in this case and we're building on it again, so I'm pretty familiar with it. Um, that's pretty much it. It does come with three fans in the front and that's what we're working with today. All right, let's go ahead and uh, show you the rest of the part. All right, here we go. We are using the i5 11600K and that's LGA 1200. This is 11th gen. Um, this should last them a pretty long time. How old are you, Aiden? 10. 10, so 10 years old, there you go, you have it right there. So we're gonna go ahead and give them something that's gonna last them for a while. And um, we're, it's, it is unlocked, we can overclock it, but we're probably gonna leave it, you know, just stock, cause this thing does go to like what, 5.1, let me see, 3.9, I don't know, we'll go ahead and see what we're clocking in when we install it. And if I have to overclock it, then we'll overclock it. All right, so let's go. All right, so right here we have the RS Liquid Cooler 280. So that comes with two 120 millimeter fans. And this is gonna be his cooling solutions for his uh, CPU. I am pretty familiar with RS. I do own a bunch of RS stuff. So there you have it. We're gonna go with that for CPU cooling. So, and here we have the RAM. This is gonna be 16 gigabytes at 3600 megahertz. This is uh, cast latency 18. And they are RGB, so we are trying to bling out his uh, PC a little bit. And um, it should be more than enough to power uh, this processor. So we're gonna use this from Corsair. All right, and then we have his storage. The storage is one terabyte. This is gonna last them a long time. Uh, NVMe M.2. <clears throat> this is gonna pretty much have his games. This is gonna have his operating system. And it's gonna be really fast, especially compared to any console or anything that he may be used to, to using. So there you have it. Crucial P2, one terabyte. All right, power solution. This is the 750, RM750 from Corsair. This is a little bit overkill, but whenever he gets a real good GPU, this he'll be able to use this in the future for future upgrades. So this will last them a long time. 750 watts is not too shabby. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. All right, so for motherboard, we are going with the Z590 from Aris. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. <clears throat> this is going to be an Intel platform. And uh, this is going to last them a long time as well. And it will go well with the actual cooler. They will they will match as far as the branding goes. So that's always pretty cool. And um, now we'll move on to the GPU. All right. I was about to sell this GPU. But we're going to go ahead and actually use it. And um, I'm going to go ahead and donate it to uh, our friend here, Aiden. And he'll have, you know, 4 gigabytes of AMD MSI armor. And this is a, a, kind of older, but for the times that we live in right now, that we can't find a GPU, this is going to be really good. I have tested this before, and it's it's pretty pretty good quality. So he's going to get over 100 frames per, per second at 1080p. So that is the uh, platform we're going to, oh sorry, the GPU that we're going to use in this platform. So lucky him. Let's do it. So what you want to do is open this up. Yeah, in a second. You can put it here. Okay. There's a magnet. See? So they don't fly off like mine did. Just drop it in there. Yeah. Then we remove this. You should, yeah, you should be able to see it. We'll clean it in a little bit. Go ahead and open the case up completely. You know, it's dust. No, leave it alone. Because you might need it.
bigger ones right here are usually for the fans. You see, you see how, look how big they are. You see how the, the thread mm -hmm. matches, you see Our that? Thing, yeah. yeah. Nah, they're fine. Then these, that have a little circle in them. Mm -hmm. You see how they're rounded? Mm -hmm. It's like a little round circle right on top of it. Those are for the motherboard, always. And then these are for other things. It depends, like extra screws. So, depends on what kind of parts you have. Hold on, no, 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 not yet. do is take this on and what we're gonna do is put the the AIO on first the cooler AIO because it's all in one I, I always say AIO so I'm gonna go ahead and connect it here gonna go with the the, the two fans here and I want to make sure it fits because look look how close we are yeah I see so it might be a little tricky oh, <coughs> Because if not, all right, so we ran into a little problem where the AIO is not going to fit on the top, so we're going to put it in the front. And so the radiator is going to be mounted in the front, and we put the RS fans in the front. They are uh, 140 millimeters, but they fit just fine. We're going to put them just like this, and there'll be a little hole here, but it doesn't matter because it's just going to be the power supply, and the power supply has its own fan. So this will light up nice, and then what we're going to do is use the um, RGB fans from Corsair. I'm gonna mount two of them up top and one for the rear. These are the fans that came with it. So that's gonna solve that problem pretty easy actually. And we'll have intake and exhaust fans. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, you can just watch us uh, in fast forward.
Remember when I told you? Yeah, yeah. Alright, it turned on. Nice. Alright guys, quick little outro. I went ahead and I uh, updated all the drivers, installed windows, um, heaven benchmark, Cinebench, CPU is overclocking itself automatically to about uh, 4.8, 4.9. It's going to be mostly a gaming PC, so, um, and it only has a RX 470, so I'm not going to go, I'm not going to touch the CPU. I did have to manually overclock the RAM to 3200 and it is a uh, pair of 3600 sticks but it's a little unstable if you use XMP and I believe because it's an Intel chip so manually overclocking worked out a lot better and um, I ran into a problem with the AIO it is 140 millimeter fans so they're too big to fit up there with the radiator so I removed the three fans from the front and I put them on the top as exhaust fans and in the rear then I went ahead and installed the radiator in the front and it actually looks pretty nice so we're gonna go ahead and stare at it, enough talking. Um, we are getting about 100 FPS with the RX 470 at 1080p Ultra. So I'm pretty pretty okay with that. Especially nowadays, it's hard to find a graphics card like we've mentioned 100 times and you guys know that already. So everything's good to go. Benchmark, stability, all the RGB lighting's under control. So we're gonna go ahead and close it up and we'll stare at it and I'll, and I'll show you how cool it looks. All right, thank you. See you later, guys.